What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're actually going to be talking about Scream 6 here tonight. Something I didn't plan to do because I didn't even expect something like this to become such a big topic of discussion tonight but um this is not a confirmation piece or anything like that i'll leave that part up to big screen leaks who was over on twitter they are working to figure out if this is real or not so yes as you all know as you've seen the thumbnail as you've seen the th as you've seen the title as you see on twitter and as you see on reddit as you see all over the place even in the woodsboro horror film group on facebook an alleged scream 6 teaser is out there now this came out just shortly after clips made it known that on thursday something would happen related to scream 6. this leaked potentially fake or real teaser shows a recreation it seems of tara's opening attack but the name isn't tara it's emily and emily is not a person of color which could be commentary on hollywood race swapping characters or just maybe in this instance real life individuals but prior to this we see the spyglass logo a pumpkin which the pumpkin is something i know a lot of people are honing in on because it seems like that's a sign that yes this is for scream six and it is legit because there are the expectations of course that there might be some halloween settings related to ghostface's next upcoming attack we see a shot of new york i assume when they see that shot of the city and then Ghostface is taunting Emily by asking questions that we've heard before. The voice does sound like Roger Jackson's voice. I've seen some people say, hey, this looks like MTV's Scream or VHS 1's in this case, Scream Season 3. Honestly, again, if it's supposed to be a stab stab type of thing, then it makes sense why it looks like that. It does make sense because it's not our actual movie. <laughs> it could be a stab opening based on Scream 5 or again, it's it's fake. If the teaser is real, then it is a it is clever to put together a quick recreation of 5 using footage we could actually see in Scream 6 related to the next upcoming stab project. In the end of this footage, we see the Scream logo with two exclamation points, which we know is stuff we've seen on set. Melissa Barrera's husband at one point shared a back of the production chair to confirm that. There was also some other things coming out from the set with the uh, clapper boards. I, I think that's what it's called, uh, where we saw the Scream logo with the exclamation marks next to it, making us think that this is going to be the official title because the working title is not that. The working title for this project was Blackmore, just like how Scream 5's working title was parkside alpha you didn't see anything around set that just said parkside alpha but you did see things that said scream and that's what the movie ended up being called you also at the end of this teaser have hashtags like scream movie and hashtag scream again can be seen as well so is the movie potentially going to be called scream again i don't know man i'm i'm starting to think it's 50 50 for this ip to do something like this because they very well could pull out a teaser that is a collection of stab footage to hide the actual movie, which is genius in some ways. The account that uploaded the video is also based in Canada and has been around since January of this year. Those small details are making me hype this legitimacy even further, making me further believe there is a chance that this is real it reminds me of i did this in a few other videos of mine but a, a few videos back i meant to say where i made it known and i did it in a live stream shout out to you again craving something scary if you're watching so i told you this in a live stream blackmore was filed prior to screen 5 even being released they had that much confidence in this that blackmore was filed in january a few days prior to screen 5 even released an office location in canada related to blackmore something was filed before screen 5 even came out so seeing this and seeing how long this account has been around the account that uploaded this trailer is giving me vibes like that to think that okay this is starting to seem like okay this definitely is something from the marketing could it have been an intentional leak maybe maybe they're poking f uh, here's another thing with scream scream has always been something that's what plagued by leaks what if this teaser is an intentional leak from them because of the fact that again before scream 5 even started filming the plot was out there before scream 2 started filming the script was leaked out there there's so many things and instances of this where you've had leaks plague screen productions so what if this time they decided to go ahead of that and leak something that is real in terms of their marketing but it's not revealing anything from the actual movie and it's just another way to poke fun at screen being plagued by leaks screen production being plagued by leaks that's another thing to just consider uh so again the account that uploaded this is based in canada has been around since january of this year so 
that's just me grasping at straws a bit here too clips did say stab won't be a big part of the film like it was in five but that doesn't mean it can't be a big part of the marketing to prevent spoilers from coming online so just because we don't get a lot of stab in the actual movie doesn't mean we won't get a lot of stab in the actual marketing which if that's what they're doing that's a wonderful way to include stab in this this time you don't have that much of a presence in the actual movie but you're all over the marketing which at that point if you're all over the marketing people probably won't even want to see a lot of stab in the actual movie so it'll be just a fun little thing just like how last time with screen 5 there was this tiktok account that was i think taking place in in world but it was also in our world it was related to the upcoming movie it's a tiktok account i forgot her name but she had died in the last tiktok that she uploaded r.i.p her but uh i'm also thinking about how clever it would be if they did this even though they don't have to so many people still of course want to know is nev campbell in the movie or not wouldn't it be so amazing for them to drop a teaser and it's just nev campbell sydney prescott answering the phone and then it cuts off that's it something that's a minute long even a minute long teaser of a phone ringing you see interior shots of a house and then it ends with nev campbell sydney prescott answering the phone and then you hear hello sydney and then the trailer the teaser cuts off it says scream reveals the title comes out march 31st 2023 there's your confirmation that nev campbell is in the movie you don't have no context though because how is she factored into it where is this scene taking place and then you'll find out when you go see the movie okay so at the time of this recording right now just to conclude this video shout out to uk k has tracked down that that trailer that was out there floating around that's got me doing this video is fake it was uploaded by someone named josh like that was the name of the account but there's a logo at the end of the trailer that highlights 1109 as like one of the production companies similarly you see like the paramount logo next to it as well with the font or the text saying the trailer see the trailer released friday now here's the thing if you google or go on youtube and look up 1109 1109 films is a youtube channel that has like 11,000 subscribers and the logos match up so whoever that person was that uploaded it to that uh account with the josh handle they might have just leaked this user's fan made teaser trailer for that reason because it's not even on this channel's page or could there be some connection to scream six but again as of now it's deemed fake let me know as you think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video